What is up you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackenzie. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. So as promised, today's the day you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I've got so far for Halloween this year in 2023. So keep in mind a couple of things. One, I've already used, including this outfit that I'm wearing right now, a couple of these pieces because if I'm lucky, a lot of the stuff that I find during Halloween is stuff that I can use year round in my house. So I'll specify what I've already put out, what I have in, and what I plan to keep out year round. So as we go through this video, I'm going to put up on the screen how much something costs. And of course, I will link absolutely everything that I can find down below. So with the exception of places like TJ Maxx and things like that, obviously it's going to be very difficult to link those things, but everything and anything else I can link I will always do that down below for you guys those won't be affiliate links I'll just try to find whatever I can so as you can see I've already completely unboxed everything so we don't have to deal with packaging you guys know me I talk and talk a whole lot so we'll try to get through this as quick as I can I think that's everything everything's unboxed ready to go I'll have the prices on the screen everything I can link down below so with all that being said, I think we're ready to just get started, guys. So I figured we'll start with clothes. Obviously, I'm in a Halloween onesie. Now, most of my Halloween onesies are from TJ Maxx. This one was $19.99, so if you've got a TJ Maxx near you, go and go now. It is fluffy, it's fleecy, it's warm. I just had to take my socks off because I'm already heating up, and you guys, it is the perfect night for this. It's pouring rain outside, it's dark, it's thundering and lightning. It'd be perfect background noise for this video. Anyways. I think we're ready to jump right in. Let's start with clothes. Like I said, this one's $19.99. This one was from TJ Maxx. And I also picked up these at TJ Maxx as well. I go through a lot of soft socks and slippers just because once I wear a slipper in, especially ones that you can wear outside too, if I wear them out in the back when I'm going outside with the dogs, I like to get rid of them quickly. And I thought these were cute enough. They're just gray slippers with white little ghosties on them and they've got white fur on the inside. Like I said, these are from TJ Maxx and these were only $9.99. So, okay, so next up, I think I'm going to show you guys these pieces. There's an upside and a downside to these. So as you can see, this is a black and white graveyard sweater and I love it. If you guys watch my recent vlog, you saw me pull this out of my closet and talk about it for a second. I don't know what it is, but I had to have it. It was just so damn cute. It's the perfect Halloween sweater. It's not too much. It has almost a little bit of like a vintage Halloween vest sweater vibe, but it's really lightweight. It'll be perfect for the fall. Now the downside, this is from Doll's Kill. I do not like shopping from Doll's Kill. I don't like all the controversies that they've been through. Now, I'm not somebody who's normally paying attention to who's being currently canceled and who's not because it's always somebody new every single day but for dolls kill specifically all of the art stealing i'm not down with so i will admit i do not like dolls kill but i did get this from there and it's so damn cute and unfortunately this isn't the only thing from dolls kill so i got these at the same exact time and this is what originally drew me in this is a front and back sided which i love teddy style skeleton jacket so it's that classic floofy teddy material and it's got a nice thick silver zip. Love that it's silver and not gold. And again, it's got the front and the back, which makes it absolutely adorable. It's got a collar. I like that it doesn't have a hood. That's when I saw this, I just got sucked in you guys. And that's why I ended up finding that sweater too. It's not my fault. I swear. Okay, we've got to move on or we're going to be here all night. Next up, let's go over my favorite piece. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys already saw this. This is from Fox Blood. It's a double-sided skeleton piece. This one glows in the dark, you guys. It literally glows in the dark. I thought that was so cute. Again, it's a pretty lightweight sweater, which of course makes me happy because it seems like even over here in New England, we don't have much for fall and winter anymore. And you guys, it's been killing me to not wear this stuff. Like I said, it's been pretty warm out, but we have had a couple colder mornings, but it's been killing me to not use half of this stuff waiting for this video. So what's cool about this sweater too is that it comes with this bag and I saw this on their Instagram. Keep this bag to lengthen the life of of your glow in the dark sweater they suggest that you keep this black bag and keep it stored inside of here away from the sunlight when you're not using it obviously and this will hopefully lengthen the life 
of that glow in the dark feature of this sweater. Okay, so done with clothes, let's move on to blankets because that was another huge thing this year. TJ Maxx absolutely nailed it with the blankets this year, you guys. I've already had a couple of them out, so I'll show you guys those ones first because those are the ones that I think will be my year round blankets. So as you can see, it doesn't have a tag on it because I've had this up on my bed now for a couple weeks because I love it so much. This is truly one of the softest throw blankets I've felt in a very long time and it is the cutest freaking pattern. How adorable is that? So obviously it's got these palmistry, but it, each piece is like a tarot style card, but some of them have little palmistry hands. There's little crescent moons and there's little evil eyes, little like lavender sprigs, a whole bunch of different designs inside each one of those little tarot squares. And of course it's on a black base. Okay, so. That's blanket number one. Like I said, this has already been on my bed four weeks. It is so soft. I love it so much. This will definitely be a year round blanket. Okay, so for the next year round blanket, I, like I said, they nailed it this year, you guys. If these blankets, these look like blankets that I would have designed myself, honestly. Look at these. How freaking cute is that and this is that good knit material some of my blankets i do like to have this material because this sits over the back of my couch just because this is a decorative blanket only i don't want this to be the super soft fleecy feeling one because those tend to catch dog fur a whole lot more this one is really really cute and like i said this one's definitely a year-round one this is already sitting over the back side of my couch now okay again moving on or we're going to be here all night blanket number three another year-round blanket here is the design it is just this evil eye design and this is what the back side looks like so you have the option to either have the white side facing out or the black side facing out, which I love. I found a rack in the back right near those huge doors where they bring all the merchandise through. So I'd say if you like any of these blankets, go and go now because they're probably going to disappear soon. There wasn't very many of all of them. We've got two blankets left. So this is another one of those fabric style blankets, but it's different. So this one is a little bit softer than the other two. It doesn't have that textured knit style feel to it. So it's got this fringe all along the outside. And if you haven't been able to tell yet, it is a giant Ouija board blanket. <laughs> how freaking cute is that? Look at how adorable. I wish I could hold the whole thing up so you guys could see it all at once. But here's the top half and here's the bottom half. How freaking cute. So last blanket here guys. Now back to another super soft fabric. This one I am pretty damn excited about too. This one is pretty oversized and it's got black tassels at the top and bottom of the blanket and it's just an overall patterned blanket. There's a little bat, a little potion bottle. There's a little palmistry hand in the center a little Illuminati sign, a skull, a tarot deck, crescent moons, a little feather. This one just has such a witchy tone to it that I love so much. And again, because it's just in that black and white pattern, it's not overwhelming, even though it's an insane pattern. So cute. So that's the last blanket. Now we get to move on to some fun stuff, the actual decor. It's that same Teddy style fabric, but it's just a large skull head which is super super cute it's very very soft i will say that i do like how oversized it is i wish i was able to get one more because i don't really ever like to have just one of things i like to have a couple but i was only able to find one so i'm happy to have it all right so the only thing i got for outdoor so far is this this is just one of those classic metal silhouette pieces and this is from Joanne Fabrics. Now, Joanne Fabrics can be stupid expensive, so I don't recommend ever buying from them unless you have a discount or unless things are already on sale there because their prices are insane. I didn't pay anywhere near this, but this thing was originally $79.99. Like, that's stupid. Crazy, crazy expensive. $79.99 for just a classic metal silhouette, which 
I love it and I do love the size of it, but I'm pretty sure you could even find these on Amazon. I'm not sure how expensive they are on there, but again, super happy to have her, but don't ever pay a full price. Don't pay 80 bucks for this as cute as it is. Okay guys, so moving right along onto these pretty little pumpkins here. So I know you guys are looking at these and you're probably like, what the hell Mackenzie? That does not look like a you type of pumpkin. I don't know what it was. Something about them just got me. They have such a beautiful look to them. And to be honest with you, they've got a Thanksgiving vibe and that's my thought process. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is one, either hold on to these until Thanksgiving or two, give them to my mom. But when they're lit, you guys, they look so, so pretty. Let me turn them on and I'll turn the lighting down so you guys can see what they look like. Okay, so here's what they look like lit up. Aren't those so pretty? So because they have that mercury glass on the inside, so it seems like they coated the inside with the classic silver mercury glass style. And then the white almost feather detailing is white matte paint on the outside of these pumpkins. And it's all on a clear glass base and they've got clear glass stems. I thought these were super, super pretty. And these are also from Joann's. Next up these crazy pumpkins you guys i don't know what it was i think just because it was black and white is what initially attracted me to these but i guess normally i wouldn't go for something that has such a whimsical looking vibe so if you can see that stem the way that it's curled these sit a little bit on their side so they definitely have a whimsical look to them and that's not something i normally go for this was the only thing i got in the store that day i walked around i didn't grab them at first but i couldn't stop thinking about them these are from tj Maxx, and i had to grab them okay last pair of pumpkins these i'm most excited for i freaking fell in love with these pumpkins again if you follow me on instagram you already saw these but these are these beautiful glass pumpkins from joanne fabrics and they have a black top that ombres down to this blood red color on camera it almost looks a little bit pink but it's not it's like a beautiful deep 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 maroon blood red color by the time you get to the bottom of the glass and of course they've got little twinkle lights on the inside look at how freaking cool those look you guys so shiny that's why you can't beat glass even those those other black and white ones look super super shiny too you can tell when you're up close and these just have an absolutely incredible shine to them and i love how black they got the top and i thought these were so freaking cool Okay, those are the last of the pumpkins. So let's move on to this plate set right here. This is another one that I'm super excited about, but also super disappointed with. So I picked up six of these plates and when I originally found them, I was really hoping to find the other pieces that match with this set. I saw this design and I fell in love with it. So it's this beautiful, very vintage vibe picture in the center. Even the outside has that vintage look, but it's just a beautiful little witch hut with witches outside, a fire, there's a little ghost over here, a beautiful full moon, there's bats in the sky, smoke coming out of the chimney. I just thought it was such a pretty little scene and it's not your typical Halloween dinnerware. I was really hoping to find some matching pieces to go with it, but maybe I'll be able to next year. I thought these were so, so pretty. How cute, I wanna live there. Okay, so let's talk about Bath and Body Works next. These are the only two plugins that I've got at least so far this year from Bath and Body Works. And this one is a wicked cute coffin, but when this one lights up, it's got a skeleton in the center. And then this is the other one I got. So this one I'm particularly excited about because it reminds me of stained glass, you guys. Does that not remind you of stained glass? Like that's a little stained glass baddie. That looks like something I would make. So it's this beautiful gemstone style bat. And then the wings themselves are this really pretty mauvey purple color. And it's got metal style detailing up along the top and the little details in the wings. So, so cute. This is the other thing I got from Bath and Body Works, but we're gonna have to talk about this one. So. I picked up obviously candles, but I figured you guys wouldn't want to see all of the three wick candles and plugins and things like that that I got from Bath and Body Works for Halloween. We're talking more decor today. So this is a three wick stand. And if you guys are familiar 
with kind of the craze that goes along with Bath and Body Works pieces in general. I was super excited to get my hands on this, long story short, but this is not what this originally looked like. So this was $69.95 and I'm pointing that out now because of how cheap it looks. I was so disappointed when I opened this thing up. I was so close to returning it. For $69.95, again, granted, I use discounts and stuff on it like that, but for this, that's insane. So I had to paint the bottom part right here black. I had to paint this band silver because it was a super, super cheapy looking metallic gold. And then all of these gemstones were green gemstones that looked even cheaper than that green gemstone ring. Then to top it all off, the nails they had painted were this hideous purple color. It was like a brownie grape purple color and it just looked absolutely terrible. It cheapened the whole piece. You can see I left the top what the bottom almost originally looked like. You can see just the plasticiness of it. You know what I mean? Like that split down the hand right here and how terribly they painted these nails. So you guys can see I painted them black, but it looks like I did such a bad job painting these nails because I had no choice. I had to overdraw the nails so badly because the purple was overdrawn so badly. Now I like it a whole lot better. Do I still think this is worth that price tag? Absolutely not. It's insane. For what this is, what it's made of, and what it feels like, it just feels and it is way too cheap for that. I was super, super disappointed. These are from TJ Maxx, and I think they made these as plant potters and that's what I am going to use them for, but I do want to drill holes in them because they don't have any drainage holes. So I've been using them in my house already, so I've just been putting a already potted plant inside of them. That way they do have drainage. Look at that, they, this is a utensil crock. I had no idea. I'm gonna try to drill holes through these, but I thought these were super cute, just black base, white bats, and I do believe there was one other design. I think it was black base, and then it had a white skull and crossbone design all the way around, just like these bats did too. Rest in peace, tombstone cutting board. How cool is that? So it's got these pretty silver round feet on each end of the coffin tombstone style cutting board, and it's just got this really pretty simple RIP in the design in a matte black up top. You can't beat that. Next up, I picked this up from Michael's uh, probably over a month ago now. I've had this on my table. Again, if you guys watch my vlogs or anything, you probably saw it. I got it for 50% off, so I finally picked it up. I've been looking at it for a couple years, but <clears throat> it's just this little stand that has three little matte black cauldrons on it. It's super, super cute. Again, as you can see, I picked up multiples, so I picked up two of each size and they are these cathedral style metal cutout little tea light holders and what makes these so pretty when you have an actual nice burning candle on the inside of them it obviously throws the projection of that cathedral style cutout design onto the wall that it's near or into a shadow and it looks so so cool we got this piece from tj maxx i gotta be careful with this one because this one actually does come apart as you can see i've just got a regular almost water glass style hurricane glass right here and it's got a black rim at the bottom just to make sure that it doesn't break because the bottom is this beautiful solid metal bat frame so it's got these two super pretty bats, one on each side, and their wings are completely wide open and kind of spread up, as you can see. It's not a plastic or a resin, it's solid metal, and then the glass for the hurricane part. So cool. Okay, so let's talk about these guys up here. These are these cute little lantern bats. So a couple things about these. One, they're from Joanne Fabrics. Two, they are copied from Grandin Road. So Grandin Road makes indoor or outdoor, so you could have them indoor or outdoor, bats that look very, very similar to this, but obviously they're from Grandin Road, so they are infinitely better made, better quality, and they can go outside. These ones are indoor only, and I had to paint them. So when I had originally picked these two up, they were a very like rusty looking metal, so it had rust, 
brown to them and it was on more of a gray base so i just popped the light out of the back luckily this door has a little notch so i could just pop that right open cover the lamp and then i just spray painted the whole thing this nice black color and now i like them a whole lot more but i picked these up because they're a whole lot more affordable than the grand and road ones they're wicked cute i'm happy with them but i still want the grand and road ones for sure these will be a good placeholder meantime. And as you can see, I got two of them. The next piece or pieces that I'm gonna show you might be my favorite for Halloween so far this year. And that is these right here, our witch hand book stands. So let me take this book off and you can use these either as book ends or as you just saw me using them as book stands. And they look so, so cool. These remind me of my all-time favorite Halloween decoration, which if you guys have watched my previous year's Halloween videos, you know it is that electricity globe from Grandin Road that has those witch hands that's holding the globe and the witch hands look just like my hand. So they're really well made. It is some type of resin, but they're pretty darn heavy and they're painted well. I like that they're versatile. You could really use these to hold anything you want, not just a book. I mean, if it fits inside of them, why not? And it looks so, so neat. Let's talk about Limax. So Limax, I end up getting now at least one piece every year. And, and this is the first one that I picked up for the season. So these you can pick up at Michael's or online. And the one I got is Gothic Hills Funeral Parlor. They didn't have a ton of options there. And I will say the quality of Limax has definitely shifted since it started becoming mainly a Michael's brand, which is disappointing. But I do feel like sometimes with the right piece, they still do look pretty damn cool and are detailed but you've gotta be careful about which ones you buy now because they're still pretty damn expensive, but their quality just took a dip. But this one I was pretty confident in. I saw what it looked like. I'm excited to see adding this one to the collection, what it's gonna look like now. Okay, so I think we're on to our very final pieces, you guys. So these come in sets of two. These are from Grandin Road. So of course it's gonna be a little bit more expensive, but you get what you pay for. The quality is fantastic. So these are what I'm talking about. Okay, so again, these are from Grandin Road. They come in sets of two. Of course, I'll have them linked down below, but these are for mounting on the wall. So I'll show you how you're supposed to mount these. So you can really hook these on this hand any way you want to. You can put it on a single finger or all the way around the hand. The base is right here and this is what gets mounted on the wall and it's holding a little lantern. You guys, I have been looking at these on Grandin Road for years, for literally years and I've been dying to get them. So the reason I got four is because these are gonna go on my hallway. So if you know my hallway going up the stairs, I usually have, do you hear that thunder? I usually have little candle, some type of sconces going up the stairs and I've always pictured these right there. That's why I picked up two sets. Again, they come in sets of two and they're a little different. You get a left hand and a right hand. And I'm so excited to finally have them. Okay, so again, come in sets of two from Grandin Road. I'll have them linked down below, just like I'll have the book stand or book ends linked too. And I think that's it. I am super out of breath per usual. I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I can finally start putting out into my home and I can start decorating for Halloween. So I'm super excited, you guys. Hopefully the lighting for this video has been okay. It's been tricky because I wanted to keep it a little bit lower just so you guys could see the actual lights and things that are inside some of these decor pieces. So hopefully it's not too dark. You guys enjoyed it, even though it's a little bit different than my normal lighting situation and where I normally sit, but yeah. I think that's it for today's video guys as always i'll have everything i can linked down below thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video if you did comment down below and let me know what do you want to see next tell me what your favorite piece was too i want to know out of all of these what was your favorite piece you gotta pick just one and i'll see you guys next time bye